Yeah, it was um, important win. Obviously, you know, in the cup competition, <laughs> you have to win to sort of continue in it. So um, that's the first thing. Um, look, you're playing against you know an unbelievable side, and they're going to ask you all sorts of questions, and they they did today. I thought. <laughs> You know, we, we defended well because we didn't really give away too many clear-cut opportunities. Uh, but we did have to defend, uh, but I thought that we did that well. And then, uh, you know, in our attacking moments, we had some really you know, top-quality moments. You know, we had some really good chances to finish the game off, which uh, we didn't take. Um, but, you know, great resilience by the boys to, to sort of hold out. Um, as I said, when you play City, they're going to ask you every question there is. And uh, for the most part, I thought we handled it okay. Yeah, no, um, I mean, Pape first. I mean, he, he's 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 done well for us in terms of goal output. You know, when he's played, he hasn't played every game. When he has played, he's 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 done well for us in terms of goal output. You know, when he's played, he hasn't played every game. When he has played, he's he's you know he's he's made an impact for us. And uh, you know, it was a well worked sort of attacking piece, set piece for us. But it was a hell of a strike. And um, you know, against City, like I said, you, you need quite, you need to have some quality in those moments to score against them. And um, both goals were outstanding moments for us. Um, great move for the first one. And um, as you said, great for Timo to finish. Obviously, he's been going through a tough time. Um, you know, I think you know, so, you know, with attacking players, it kind of weighs on them when they don't score or don't sort of finish stuff off. So uh, for him to score tonight, an important moment for us in the game. Um, yeah, it was 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 great, and, and hopefully that sort of helps him sort of kick on. Just on the injuries, mm. I mean, update on Mickey, Timo, and then was Romero an injury? Yeah, um, so I mean, obviously Mickey, you know, felt something in his hamstring. Oh, I haven't got the sort of full so um, sort of update on him, but he did definitely felt something. So we'll see how he is. Um, Kuti was a bit tight, and I, I kind of was, I was contemplating changing him at half time. You know, obviously losing Mickey as well. I didn't want to sort of lose another centre half, and um, he said he felt okay, but I, you know, just my gut was telling me it was, you know, no point taking the risk. Um, you know, and we had Benny who could come on, and and Timo was just I think you know he hasn't played a lot, so I think it was more fatigue hopefully than anything else. Was yeah, it, it'd been booked, and um, you know I just thought the way the game was going, I, I didn't want to take a risk there, and I, and I thought this would help us in our build up. It's probably you know it got a bit sticky for us, um, sort of the back end of the first half playing out, um, and I thought. Having Biss and Rodri in there would give us sort of more of a, a foothold and trying to play out from the back, and I think it helped us in the second half. So it was tactical more than anything else. City won this competition, I think, six of the last ten years, and now they're out, and a couple of other big sides have gone out tonight. Do you, do you feel like it's just kind of wide open for the <laughs> so, so you're suggesting the sides left are easy? No, but you know, there's an opportunity there. Well, there's always an opportunity if you keep winning, so, um, you know, but. As I say, there's still some decent teams in there. It's not uh, we're only at the quarterfinal stage, but you know, for us, what's important is we're in it, you know, and we've got to, you know, as long as we we stay in it, then we're a chance. And that, I know it's only one win, but for the sort of playing group to go toe to toe with the really good city sides, that feel like a big step forward in the kind of development of the group. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to go for big steps forward or big steps back. You know, I kind of we're the same team we were, you know, three days ago. Um, you know, we're we're a side that's growing. We're we're developing. I've seen progress. I continue to see progress, but we're going to have stumbles along the way. Um, and the same way, we we kind of you know don't lose our nerve after having a poor one on the weekend. Tonight um, doesn't mean that we you know need to change our approach. It's we're just going to keep working at what we've been doing and and keep believing in sort of the process of what we're trying to build and. The key thing for tonight for us was obviously the victory because, you know, in a cup competition, ultimately, that's the main thing. You know, you've got to win uh, to keep going. And, and we got that. Um, and the fact that it was against a, a, you know, a formidable opponent, um, you know, is is, uh, is great for the whole group. Do you think there was a bit of maybe wounded pride in players today? Was there a moving point after what happened at the I hope not. I really hope not. That's what I'm talking about. You know, we, we can't wait for these things to to kind of change our approach. Uh, you know, yes, we were disappointed, but uh, on the weekend, um, because we didn't 
you know, reach the levels, anywhere near the levels we, we needed to. And um, we shouldn't wait for those moments then to react, like I said. But, um, as I said you know, yesterday, I think it was, that this group is still learning a lot of these things. They need to have these experiences of difficult times um, and, you know, how they cope with them, how they react to them is important for sure. Um, and you don't want difficult times to last too long, you know, and, and you know, for us this year, we kind of bounce back whenever we've had a, a bit of a stumble. Um, but the idea is not, you know, not to stumble too often as well. So, you know, we should prepare ourselves for, you know, another another big game on the weekend. Mike, final one, please. Um, Joe, given the opposition, given the loss of Van der Ven <coughs> after a quarter of an hour, is that your, uh, given the... Uh, the a lot of givens. Yeah, it's a lot of givens. Yeah, lots of givens. Yeah. Is that your best win <laughs> as a manager? Um, I, you know, my last win's always my, uh, my, my best win. Like, like I said, I... I I continue to see growth in this group of players and, and this team and, um, you know, I want them to have these moments because I know how important it is to accelerate the growth of what we're doing. Um, but, uh, you know, for me personally, um, nothing really changes. Um, it's it's about trying to continually, you know, push this group to, be, to become the team we want to be. Um, we're not there yet, fair to say, um, but... As I said yesterday, I'm really, I'm really optimistic and bullish about this group of players. I just think they they've got a really high ceiling, and we've just got to keep uh, focusing on that. Thank you. Thank you.